Okay, today we are uh, we want to deal this question that is to find the sum of this series, this miscellaneous series up to infinity. Okay, so here in the denominator you can see that we have two different series. That is, if we have 4, 13, 22, etc., and 13, 22, 31, etc. If we subtract this 4 from 13 and 22 from uh, 13 from 22, so then we get the same number or not. So 13 minus 4 gives what? 9, and this gives what? Is it 9 or not? 30, 22 minus 30. 7. 7? 7. 7. 7. 9. 9. That is 9. Okay. So their difference are the same. Yes. Common difference are the same. Same in the case with this. It gives what? 9. And this gives also 9. 9. So the common difference are the series is the same. Both the series have the same common difference. That is 9. So here we will use the formula. That the general term of the arithmetic series a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay? You can see from the above the general term say denoted by tl can be written as 1 upon we have two arithmetic terms in each term. That is, the first term in the first series is 4. We are looking for the inner term, so we will use n in place of n and we will use d. As 9. In the same a second, we have the first term 30, n minus 1, n to d. So again, the second is also 9. Okay? Yes, sir. Now simplify this, we get 9 times n minus 9 plus 4, and the second one is 9 times n minus 9 plus 30. Simplify this gives 9n minus 5 and the second become 9 times n minus what is the answer that is u that gives what plus 4. So this is what we call the general term of the above series. Is it correct or not? So we must check it. How we will replace this n with 1. So say 9 times 1 gives 9, 9 minus 5 gives 1. 4. We see here we have 4. Same is the case if we replace n with 1, 9 times 1 plus 3 to 4 gives 13. Now, if you want to check this, is it, uh, this formula gives the second term, so you should replace here 2. You will get here 13 and here you will get 9. So, if it is so, it means that you have found the correct general term of the sequence series. Sorry. Okay? Now, what is our aim? We want to find the sum of this series. So first we will decompose this general term of the series into partial fraction. And we know the root for the partial fraction. So resolving into partial fraction. Okay? So how we can do this? We will let 1 upon 9 times n minus 5 n to 9 times n plus 4 equal to what? a upon, this is the general constant term, we will write here 9n minus 5. In the second, we will write b by 9n plus 4 and mark this as our first equation. Okay? Now, we will further do, uh, go for, to find the constant a and b. How to find them? You will recognize this first relation by the quantity involved here. Throw this one by this quantity. Here we will left in the left one. And in the right we have a into 9 times n plus 4 1 b and to what 9 n minus 5 and mark this as our second relation. Now, it is quite clear to find the value of A, you will put the quantity down the A equal to 0. Doing this, we will put 9n minus 5 equal to 0. This gives n is equal to 
9 in 2. So this will give what? 1 equal to a n2. 9 multiplied by 5 times 5 upon 9 plus 4 while b into 0 because we have suppose this quantity is 0. So after simplifying this, a will equal to what? The 9 got cancelled 9, you will left with 5 plus 4, 9. So the value of a will become 1 upon 9. nine. Okay, same for the b. So put the quantity below b, that is 9 n plus 4 equal to 0. Further simplifying this, this gives minus 4 upon 9 in 2. Okay, so putting the value of n in the in equation 2, we get a into 0 plus b into 9 multiplied by 1 of minus 4 upon 9 minus 5. So this gives b equal to what? Minus 4 minus 5 plus 9. Minus 9. So this will give 1 upon minus 9. Now replacing the values of a and b in 1, in the relation 1. So we will get the required decomposition of the given rational fraction. n minus 5 into 9n plus 4. This is what? This is from 1. This equal to what? 1 upon 9 times 9n minus 5 minus 1 upon 9 into 9n plus 4. So you, we reach to the situation where we have decomposed the given rational fraction into partial fraction. Now we are in the position to apply summation to both sides of this general term to get the sum of the given series. So apply summation n start from 1 up to n. So actually we are looking for the infinity. So we will not write here n, we will write here infinity to both sides. To both sides of this above relation. So applying this, it will give what? You see that this is the general term of the series. So we write here tn. n start from what? 1 up to infinity. Instead of writing this whole term, we should write here only this tn. Okay, it's enough. It's easy for us to write it. Now, 1 upon 9 is a common factor in both. So we will take out this and we will apply n from 1 up to infinity. 1 upon 9n minus 5 minus summation n star from 1 up to infinity. 1 upon 9n plus 4. Okay? So, we have almost done. How to uh, simplify this? Apply this. Then suppose put n is equal to 1 in the first one. It will be 9 minus 9 times 1 minus 5. It will be what? 1 upon 4. And this we will put 1. It will be what? What about this? 9 plus 4 gives 30 plus. This plus is because of the summation. And the second term will be. Just put it here 2. 2 nines are 18. 18 minus 5 gives 13. Minus 2 nines are 18. 18 plus 4? 22. 22. Same if we find the third term, you will replace here 27 minus 5 gives 27 minus 5. 22. And next, 27 plus 4 gives 31. And so on. And that says plus. Now putting, uh, we are actually looking for the infinity term. So we will reach up to infinity. We will not write the n term of the series now. Because we are interested in the sum to infinity. So therefore, the sum to infinity will become what? 1 upon 9. And now you see 13 got cancelled with 13. 22 got cancelled with 2. 1 over 31 will got cancelled with the next term and so on. So each term will cancel with each other. Now you left with what? With just 1 upon 4. So now we multiply this, this will use what? 
that this is and this is what the sum of the series up to infinity.